In this video, we will show you how to use remote desktop on Windows 11 home version. As we know, Windows 11 home version doesn't have remote desktop feature. So, we cannot access our Windows 11 home from another computer with the default remote desktop. In here, we have two solutions that you can use for free. Okay? Let me show you. This is my Windows 11 home version. I'm using virtual machine so I can remote them later from my host. Okay? In here, we have Windows 11 home version. If you don't want to pay for upgrading your home into the pro version and this is the best answer for you. Okay, this is Windows 11 home version, you know, and then if we try to find remote desktop, okay, select remote desktop setting in here, you can see your home edition of Windows 11 doesn't support remote desktop. And this is the solution for free that you can use. First, you can using application called AnyDesk. Okay, let me show you. You can open your browser and type AnyDesk. And please open AnyDesk.com here. And this is the first option you can download now. AnyDesk is free as long as you use for personal. Okay, let's open file and install them. And AnyDesk is very easy to use, okay, rather than the second option later that we will also show to you. We recommend you to install AnyDesk on this device, okay. Just click and accept the installer. This is too easier if you need AnyDesk anytime, rather than you open manually .x, you can open via program menu like this okay because with the any desk you can also have option to not installing just opening but I suggest you to installing them okay this is our address and if we want to remote to this computer we need this ID or address but in here let me show you how to set the password okay just click this icon and click yes okay and permission profile select full access okay so you don't need to have manual approve later okay. then click apply if you have this password, you can just type later when you're remoting this computer. Okay, we done to set on our Windows 11 home version. Okay, and we ready to remote this computer. Okay, and this is our Windows home version. Okay, and I will remote this computer from my house. So we need to installing any desk also because I already installed on my host. I don't need to install again. And this is my host. Okay. I will make this screen is smaller. Okay. You can see. And this is my virtual computer. I will make zoom level into like this. Okay. I will remote this computer from my house. So we need to type this address. You can using Notepad, for example, to save your address. Okay, one one five three six six four nine nine three. Okay, and this is the easiest way. Okay, you can paste in here, and after that we can click connect here. You can see there. You can see on the right side. Okay. You can see there. We do connection. Just type our password. Okay. 
now you can see we successfully to remote our computers and this is from any desk okay you can see there okay and we successfully remote our computer using any desk and this is the first and the easiest option that you can use okay for the second option we will using chrome remote desktop and this is also easiest way but uh, i think any desk is very easy because we don't need to login in account and etc okay but in here let me close this connection and i will also uh, close the any desk on the our windows 11 home okay and for the second option we will using uh, Chrome for installing the remote desktop application okay back to our Windows 11 home and open the Google Chrome browser and type Chrome remote desktop and you can see there is remote desktop.google.com just open it and in here click share my screen and type your email address after you type your email address just click next and in here you can type your password click next and with passkey you can now use your find your print face or screen lock to verify it's really you we click not now and you can see using google remote desktop is also easy you can click share the screen the first click on this button will direct you into the chrome remote desktop extension you need just click add to chrome here and click extension after the extension successfully installed the next click for this button will direct you into the download the msc file you can see there okay so there is two click one for extension one for application click accept and install okay here to install Just with the installer and you can see Chrome Remote Desktop is now installed. Click Generate Code to share your computer. Just click Generate Code. Okay, the Chrome Remote Desktop have two options. One is you can generate code if you are using different email on another account and you can also directly connect your computer if you are using the same account on another computer let me show you we will try using another account using this uh, id i will remote our computer using this id using another account in here let me show you open again remote desktop remotedesktop.google.com and type your mail address and type your password click next and click not now and this is if we are using another account you can see we use different email in here okay and for remote support okay. you can connect to another computer you can see there we can type this id 0270 
nine twelve and three two six nine three two six nine and we can click connect this is uh, using guess okay you can see here now we can click share on the our windows 11 home so uh, we have this screen okay just yes, click allow okay we successfully remote uh, our windows home version home host you can see using chrome browser and using chrome remote desktop and easiest way also if you are using the same account let me show you okay we will disconnect this okay. let's open our chrome here okay and click stop sharing then we need to sign out and using same account with our windows 11 home and that will be very easy using another account click next type your password and if you are using the same account okay, let's open remote desktop again if we are using the same account we can click remote access and our computer with the application will also detect automatically here we can just click this to directly without inputting the code like we just do and this is the pin now we successfully remote our computer via the same account in here there is different between any desk and chrome remote desktop for each solution maybe uh, is different for you and hope this video helpful for you